The Afghan government released 100 Taliban prisoners this week after several attempts of cracking a negotiation on prisoner exchange with the Taliban. The government's move came as a surprise to many as the prisoners were released despite Taliban's decision of suspending prisoner exchange talks and recalling of its negotiators from Kabul, a report. A month after the U.S. signed the crucial peace deal with the Taliban, the Afghan government released 100 prisoners from a prison near Bagram Air Base as a first step in the peace process with the hardline Islamists. Even though Afghanistan has been suffering from years of war owing to the extremist Taliban fighters, the released Taliban prisoners claim that they look forward to peace and stability in the country. An official prisoner exchange deal has been on the priority list of both the Afghan government and the hardline Taliban. But the lack of understanding and string of confusions is leading to delayed productivity on various crucial issues, including the prisoner exchange deal in the war torn nation. The problem is that when, when, when they cannot come to an agreement on the very important issues which are critical into the agreement between U.S. and the Taliban, which actually create conflict inside the Afghanistan de debate, that actually create obstacle for coming to an agreement. One of the major problem with this current two contracts is the release of the 5,000, which is not any sign of an agreement. There is no sign of uh, such an agreement between Afghan government and the United States. Ahead of the release of prisoners, the insurgent group broke off talks with the Afghan government on prisoner exchange by calling it a series of fruitless meetings. The adjournment of meetings from Taliban's side comes as the latest setback for the US-led efforts as these meetings were seen as crucial steps in peace talks being brokered by the United States after it agreed on a true withdrawal pact with the extremist group. The United States and the Taliban inked a peace deal in Doha on 29 February that calls for the full withdrawal of American troops from Afghanistan within 14 months, including a Taliban guarantee that Afghan soil will not be used as a launch pad against the US and its allies. The launch of intra-Afghan negotiations by March 10 and a permanent and comprehensive ceasefire. The deal also mentioned release of up to 5,000 Taliban prisoners before 10th March. However, Afghan President Ashraf Ghani turned down this demand, saying that it was up to his government to release the prisoners and not the United States, as Ghani's government has no agreement with America in this field. But the latest move of release of 100 prisoners shows Afghan government's repositioning on the issue that has put the peace deal in jeopardy since the very next day of its signing. While the Afghan government is trying to bring the Taliban force to negotiating table, the conflicts between the two sides are unlikely to cease because of the widely discrepancies between them and within the Taliban force. The current situation is that there are the, a number of discrepancies in the, in the speeches of the different actors and I see the positions of the different actors. And I think one of the reasons that they have uh, come, come, not come to a ceasefire agreement is because there are lots of different uh, Taliban troops. Meanwhile, U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo on a U.S.-led Afghanistan peacemaking drive has seen progress since he visited Kabul last month to persuade the Afghan president and his main political foe to end their leadership feud. Earlier, in order to bring a solution to the standoff, the U.S. Secretary of State Pompeo had affirmed that all sides should stop posturing and prepare for the intra-Afghan negotiations, including practical discussions about prisoners' release. And while a reduction of violence is paramount, we also continue to press all sides to stop posturing start a practical discussion about prisoner releases, knuckle down and prepare for the upcoming inter-Afghan negotiations. Hours after the prisoner release, five rockets hit a U.S. airbase in Afghanistan. The rockets targeting the largest U.S. military compound in Afghanistan were fired from a vehicle 
parked in an adjoining village. No insurgent group immediately claimed responsibility. The attack comes as the Afghan government launched the release of Taliban prisoners from a jail near the Bagram base as part of a confidence-building step in a U.S.-Taliban peace deal aimed at ending about two decades of war in Afghanistan.